In order to have HomeSeer work with a particular technology, two things are required. You need a hardware interface, a, a piece of hardware that will actually communicate to the device that you want to control, like a light switch or a thermostat. And you also need software that performs as a driver for that hardware interface. So you need those two pieces. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the software. And in this case, we call that software a plugin. So first thing you want to do is open up your web interface for your HomeSeer system. And it will look something like what you see on the screen here. Go to the menus that are up at the top and you want to go over to plugins and select manage. On the manage page at the top section you're going to see a list of installed plugins. Right now for example I've only got HS Touch Server installed but I want to install something else. So to do that go down to where it says additional interfaces and click the ye little yellow circle to the left that will expand that section. Now down below you're going to see a listing of categories. These are all plugin categories. And if I wanted to install a Z-Wave plugin, for example, that's under the lighting and primary technology plugins. So I would expand that section, locate the Z-Wave plugin, happens to be the first one here, check the box in the install column. When I do that, it's going to appear in this section up above, which is for pending updates and installs. At this point, I click the download and install button and the installation process will begin. Um, up top, there's a progress bar that appears. And you can see, it with a little bit of text here, green text, what the status is. Looks like it's already installed. So I've got the plugin up here. Next step is going to be to go to the Enable column and click this button here to enable the plugin. This will take a moment or so. Once the plugin is enabled, it will now appear on the plugins menu up top, and I'll have a flyout menu where I can go to change the configuration settings for the plugin. Now, some plugins are manufactured directly by HomeSeer, and for those, you can receive support on them directly through us. Uh, however, a lot of other plugins are manufactured by third party authors. And so, for the third party plugins, what you want to do is navigate to our message board, which is board.homeseer.com. Looks something like this here. And all of the forums for the different plugins are going to appear underneath the respective categories. Okay? So find the plugin you need help with, click into the forum, and you can post a message to the author. If you ever need to retrieve the license IDs, uh, the license codes for your plugins, you can do that from the licensing page uh, of our main website. Just simply go to homeseer.com and once you're here, go to support, go to licensing issues, put in your email address or your phone number and submit that and all of your license codes for all of your plugins and all your Homeseer software will automatically be emailed to you. And that's how it works.